track for the second race at the Illinois State Fair. This is an elimination for two-year-old trotting fillies. Number one is Chasse, leased and trained by Wade Barbary of Salem. Jim Curran is in the race bike. Number two is Tribulation Force, owned by David Jenks of Winona Lake, Indiana, trained by Amanda Smith. The driver will be Dale Heitman. Here's number three, Trim's Victory, owned by Irvin Miller of Springfield, Omer Miller of Humboldt, and Michael Vandehede of Moline, trained by Irvin Miller, Brent Holland is up. Number four is Cheyenne, owned by Sam Lilly's Lilly Racing Stable Incorporated of Downers Grove, and by Jerry Hansen's Equine Racing Incorporated of Beecher, trained by Hansen, the driver, Tony Morgan. Number five is Moody Annie, owned by Stanley Crow of Lebanon, Ohio, trained by Jonathan Crow. Dave McGee is up. Number six is GT High Society, owned by Richard Flacco of Alexis, trained and driven by Joel Miller. And number seven, Stay and Fight, owned by Bob Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario, trained by Irvin Miller, Andy Miller in the bike. We call your attention to the fact that numbers three and seven will race uncoupled. Only three minutes till post. Here they come. Tribulation force off stride. The rest are off and trotting. Chasse goes out for the early lead. Moody Annie gets away second, followed by Trim's victory in third. Then GT High Society is fourth as they move into the first turn. As they race toward the quarter mile mark, they're being led by Chasse by a length and a half. As they move that way, Moody Annie moves up into the second spot, drops over toward the rail. Trim's victory goes third. GT High Society is fourth. Cheyenne gets away racing in the fifth position, seven lengths off the lead. Another length back to stay and fight. And Tribulation Force, the distant trailer, 30 and 1, the time for the opening quarter. Chasse is on the lead by a length and a half, two lengths now. Moody Annie goes second by two. Trim's victory is third, a length and a half. Then GT High Society, who is followed by Cheyenne, who is racing seven lengths off the leader. Two more lengths back to stay and fight, and Tribulation Force is the distant trailer. At the midpoint of the back stretch, Chasse is on the lead by two and a half, and Moody Annie travels in the second position. It's a gap of nearly three more lengths to Trim's victory, and here comes Cheyenne off the rail. She's moving up from fourth, five lengths off the lead, the half and 101 and three. Chasse leads them into the final turn by a length and a half. Moody Annie second by a length. Cheyenne is third on the outside. Trim's victory back toward the rail is fourth. Flanked by Stay and Fight, who's in the outer flow, three and a half lengths from the front. A gap of three more to GT High Society, and Tribulation Force has caught the field, but is still last. At the three-quarter, Chasse leads it by a length and a half. Cheyenne second a neck. Moody Annie locked in toward the rail in third. Three-quarters, 132 and three. Chasse brings the field off the final turn, leading Cheyenne by a length. Moody Annie is tucked away toward the inside. Stay and fight is a wide fourth. Trim's victory, shuffled back into fifth. Final eighth mile. Here's Cheyenne challenging Chasse. Cheyenne, Chasse, Moody Annie needs room. Stay and fight, then Trim's victory back toward the rail. Coming to the line, Cheyenne with Moody Annie getting through late, but Cheyenne gets there first. Cheyenne wins it by a half length. Moody Annie was second. Stay and fight, look to get third, but that'll be a photo for show between her and Chasse in 202 flat. into the winner's circle for the second race. Here's the official winner of race two, number four, Cheyenne, Tony Morgan with the winning drive. We can talk to Sam Lilly of Lilly Racing Stable Incorporated of Downers Grove. He and trainer Jerry Hansen co-own that Cheyenne Spur filly. Sam, you live in Downers Grove now, but originally you are from Sullivan, Illinois. What would your dad have thought of something like this? How'd you know that's what I was thinking about? Dad raced trotters. That's all he raced. He never won a race in his life. 
And boy, I'd give up, give a lot if he could have been here to see this today. Well, I'll tell you what, Sam, there's going to be a lot of people pulling for you in that $55,000 final next week. We'll wish you the best of luck. One other thing I need to point out, I don't want to take any credit away from anybody, but the person who started this horse and bred this horse was Sonny Graham. And boy, do we miss him big time. We sure do. A lot of us in Illinois racing deeply miss the late Sonny Graham. That is Sam Lilly, the co-owner of Cheyenne. More coming up.